What's up guys, my name is Justin Graziano and on this channel I do a lot of tutorials and behind the scene breakdowns. Today we're gonna to be shooting some cold brew coffee and I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. So typically when I'm shooting my product photography, I use strobes, which are the same as a speed light or a flash, but lately I've been experimenting with different styles of product photography, and continuous lights have been playing a huge role in that. Today we're going to be using the GVMP80 with a nice large softbox on it as my main key light, and then to spice things up a bit, we're going to take this pocket LED light that I received from Pixel. Let's see what this thing can do. So lately I've been experimenting with different styles of product photography and I've been trying to shoot these photos a little bit softer than you usually see on this channel. Typically I shoot anywhere from f8 to f10 which allows me to get as much as my product and scene in focus. So for the photos that I'm going to be shooting today, I'm going to be shooting with my brand new Sony a7 IV with the 50mm 1.8 at an f-stop f2 to get some nice shallow depth of field. So for these photos today, I took my GVMP80 and I brought it nice and close to my setting. And then with these pixel liber lights, we're going to take them and we're going to add a little bit of color to our photo, which is one of the many awesome features of these lights. So if I place this pixel liber light behind the wood crate, light's going to shine through the wood slats, adding a nice highlight to my photo, as well as a nice glow to the back of the bottle. That alone adds an entirely new look to my set that I normally wouldn't get with my normal setup. And then to add a little bit of fill light to my bottle, I'm going to take a second pixel liber light and add it right here in front of the bottle set to a similar color temperature as my key light. So one of the main reasons I love to shoot with continuous lights and a little bit of a lower f-stop is that it feels like a more relaxed style of shooting. And shooting these all handheld allows me to shoot more variations rather than if I was strapped down to a tripod. Normally when I'm shooting I'm locked off on a tripod and that can be a little bit limiting so shooting these all handheld was so much more fun. And when you shoot with a higher f-stop, you can literally see every speck of dust in your photo. So shooting with a lower f-stop is a little bit more forgiving. So even though shooting with continuous lights can give you great results, there are still a few downsides to it. Most continuous lights don't produce as much light as a strobe or a flash would. So if you're trying to shoot at higher f-stops, you might have a little bit more difficulty and you might not get as great results as you would with a flash. And that's also going to contribute to if you want to capture moving objects. If you're like me, I like to shoot a lot of splash photography, so something like the GVMP80 isn't going to produce as much light as something like this TT350 will, which is actually cheaper than the GVMP80. And the last downside for me is that all the continuous lights I own aren't very portable and they have to be plugged in in order to use them, whereas the flashes I own are pretty portable and they all run off batteries, so I can literally take them anywhere with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new from it. I really have enjoyed shooting with continuous lights again. And I just want to give a quick shout out and I thank you to Pixel for sending these lights out for me. I really have enjoyed shooting with them and they'll definitely have a spot in my camera bag moving forward. This video isn't sponsored by them, but if you guys want to pick up one for yourself, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below alongside all the other camera gear that I use for this video. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep dancing with the devil, baby, there's a lot of